Six math prodigy this is coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into question number eight of your assessment paper number 13. now this question is um, a little challenging i would say if you have never done uh, something that looks like this this is a circles question and let's take a look at the diagram it says find the shaded area okay so this is a blown up version of um, the question paper so as you can see this shape is a little weird Okay, but you must read the question in order for you to understand how to do this. The question says this. The figure is made up of two big quadrants and two small quadrants. Now, that is your clue to finding out the shaded area. So, let's take a look for the... Let's, let's take a look for the big... Um, two big quadrants and the two small quadrants. Quadrants are quarter circles. So, as you can see, there is one over here. Okay, that's the one big quadrant. Okay. Then we have the second big quadrant, which is over here. We use a different colour. The second big quadrant is over here. Can you see that? Okay. So now we've got we've got something like the shape in there already. So we kind of know how the shaded area is formed. And let's look for the small um small shaded area. A uh, small quadrant, sorry. The small quadrant, where is it? I can't find it. But then if you look properly, there's a similar shape here. Can you see that? So therefore this is a small quadrant. And the other small quadrant is also somewhere there. As you can see, it's actually over here. Ah, okay. So now we have a little clue on how to find the shaded area. But before I do that, I just erase everything. Oh, sorry. All the colors. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. too fast, too fast, too fast. Okay, here. Okay, so now we have a little uh, idea of how to do this question, right? So basically, we know that we have to involve... One, oh, sorry. We have to involve the quadrants from here to here. Correct. Right so how do we find out? The area of this shaded area, half an area of this. Okay, what I would do, um, and I've seen this very quickly because I've done so many of these questions, is that if I take this big quadrant and I minus off a triangle in between, a triangle in between, what will I get? I will get this area over here. Am I right? Ah, uh, yes. So basically, I have now have a, an image that looks a bit like this. Okay, and if I take the other quadrant on the other side, and I'll find that other side as well so I'll get this lip looking like structure it looks like a lip right so I'll look at something like that and then I will simply minus off the smaller quadrant okay can you see there's a smaller quadrant over here right so same thing minus the triangle I will get this smaller um, I'm gonna draw a different color a smaller lip looking thing from here to here and if you take out if you minus this out what will you get you will get the shape or the shaded area so that's how we do this question so again, I'm going to try to draw this uh, as close as possible. If I take this minus the triangle, what do I get? I get the upper lip looking like a structure. And again, if I take this quadrant minus this triangle, I will get the lower lip looking structure. And together, if I plus it together, what do I get? I get something that looks like this. And this is for the bigger one as well as the smaller one. The smaller one, is over here so it's a different uh, what's it called different length uh, different different radiuses that's the only difference but the way of finding it is the same so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the big quadrant first so the area of the big quadrant quadrant equals to what let's take a look is um, this is a big quadrant this is 7 cm so this will be 14 cm so quadrant is area is pi r squared take pi as 22 over 7 so we get pi as 22 over 7 pi r squared what's the radius again the radius is 14 okay it's 14 yes it is 7 14 and what is the it's a quadrant therefore you must divide it by what divide the whole thing by 4 so this whole thing divide by 4 so let's find out what is this Cancel, cancel, 2. 44 divided by 4 will give you 11 cm squared. So to find that lip, the area of two quadrants, area of, uh, so we're going to find out area of triangle first. We're going to find what's the lip. Area of triangle is equal to half times base times height. And in this case, my base is 14. So half times 14 times my height, which is 14 also. Quite not. Yep. So half times 20. 14 times 14 so cancel cancel we get 7 times 14 7 times 14 which gives you 98 cm squared now something is definitely wrong 
And what is it? It's because pi r squared. <laughs> Crap, I did not see that at all. So pi, pi times 14 squared. Okay. Ah, my mistake over there. So again, I'm going to do this. 3, 14 squared will give me pi r squared, 1 and 6. Times 3, 2, divide by 7, divide by 4, 1, 5, 4. 1, 5, 4. So sorry about that. So the area of one lip is... Area of um, what do you call that? Area of okay, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> area of um, half a shaded area, no. But what you can do is you can actually label this. Okay, um, you can do something like that. A and B, something like that. So area of A is equals to um, one five four minus ninety eight. which gives you 56 cm squared. Okay, and then B is also, therefore, area of B is equals to 56 cm squared. Okay, then what you can do also is to take out your other color and put C and D. So C and D, you cannot see that. Okay, so we just established this 56 cm squared. For C and D, okay, so area of small quadrant Wow, this is difficult to do with so little space. Okay, area small quadrant is equal to what? So the quadrant here is the pi is, I mean 7 r is 7. So same thing. 22 over 7 times r squared. What is my r squared? 7 squared divided by 4. Why wow, have you got no space? So 7 times 7, 49. So cancel this off. 22 divided by 3 3 times 7 will give me. 154 divided by 4 will give me 38.5 cm squared. Um, and then what do we do? We have to find out what is the area of this triangle. Why have you got no space really? Um, how do we do this? Okay. Area of triangle. Okay, we're gonna draw a triangle. Huh? Equals to half times base, which in this case is 7, times the height, which is 7. Half times 49 will give you. 24.5 cm squared. So therefore the area of C well, already got no space already. So sorry. 38.5 minus 24.5. Bam! 14. So 14 cm squared. So now I got C and therefore area of D is also a 14 cm squared. So now what do I do? I just find 56 plus 56. Why well, already got no space? Okay, I'm gonna write it here, okay? So sorry. So 56 plus 56 will give you 112 cm squared. Okay, then the C and D you plus together. 14 plus 14 will give you 28 cm squared. And then you just minus A, B to from C, uh, minus a C, D from A, B, and then it will give you the outside region over here. So 112 minus 28 is going to give me 84 cm squared, and that is the answer for this question. And if you got that one right, wow, whew, I'm very proud of you. I'm going to give you a big high five because you are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay, and that's it for this question. We are done. And again, my quote of the week is, emotions can be your greatest allies in life or it can be your greatest foes in life. So too much of that will really destroy you. With that, this is Coach Saiful signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.